guys, welcome to Tabletop Assault. I'm Rob. I'm Ross. And we are doing a 1500 point 40k battle report. Well, I'm actually bringing the angels back out, so Blood Angels are coming back with a vengeance this time. And with that sort of, you know, combat orientated, I'm going to bring World Eaters Chaos Space Marines. Yeah, so it should be a good matchup, hopefully. Absolutely. So we're going to play Contact Loss today. How that works is that we've got six objectives out on the field. At the start of battle round one, we draw, well, at the start of your turn, you draw one objective card, so that's what you get for uh, turn one. But after that, from turn two, you can draw up to six tactical objective cards, depending on how many objective markers you control. So if you've got, you know, three objective markers, you can draw three cards. So you really want to be controlling objective markers throughout the game to make sure you can keep, you know, getting cards and scoring more points. That's, that's going to be difficult because we're both quite... Not necessarily fast, but we're in each other's faces quite quickly. Absolutely. We? Well, Blood, uh, Blood Angels, World Ears, yeah, we're going to be in combat. First Bloods, uh, Slay Warlord and Linebreaker all apply. Okay. So with that, let's have a look at the forces. And here is the 1500 points worth of Blood Angels in a single detachment battalion. So it gives me eight command points to start the game with. So going on to my Warlord, which is a Librarian Dreadnoughts with mm. Quickening. Wings of Sanguinius, Furioso Fist, Storm Bolter, uh, Virtuous Vitae, so I'll, I'll confirm command points. And he's my Warlord, so I'm going to give him Heroic Bearing, which gives him a 6 inch bubble for ignoring morale for all my guys. Then I have uh, Smash Captain, so Jump Pack, Storm Shield, Thunder Hammer, and he's got the Secondary Relic, so I've paid one command point already, so I'm down to 7 of the Angel's Wing to ignore uh, Overwatch. Then we have the Marseilles, Master of the Lost, so with his Crozius and his Bolt Pistol. On to the troop, I've got three squads, uh, three squads of Scout Snipers, all with camo coats, all are identical. On to my Elites, I have a Contempt of Dread with a Combi Bolter, Dreadnought uh, Close Combat Weapon, Cadence Pattern, Assault Cannon. Death Company Dreadnought, Blood Talons, Magna Grapple, Melter Gun, Flamer. And then 13 Death Company, mostly, uh, well, 10 of them with um, chainsaws and bolt pistols, three with thunder hammers. Then lastly, two squads of Devastators, four missile launchers in each, Sergeant has got a bolt pistol and bolt gun, and an ammo cherub. So that is my 1500 point Blood Angel list. Here we have 1,500 points of World Eaters Chaos Space Marines. I'm in a battalion detachment, so I've got 8 command points to use in this game. For HQs, I have Karn the Betrayer, because Karn, he's not going to be my Warlord. Instead, I'm going to go with Demon Prince with Wings. Artifacts of Chaos will be Talisman of Burning Bloods. Warlord of Trey is Hatred Incarnate, and he's going to be armed with Malefic Talons. Set of them, Warp Bolter, because he kept getting in trouble not taking one. And uh, he's also got the Mark of Corn, obviously. We've then got a unit of Corn Berserkers. Uh, all of them are going to be armed with bolt pistol, chain swords, frag and crack grenades. We've got another unit of Corn Berserkers, but there's only going to be nine in the squad, all armed with bolt pistols, uh, uh, chain swords, and frag and crack grenades, based to make room for Karn. We've also got a unit of ten Chaos Cultists to complete my battalion because World Eaters, Corn Berserkers are troops. Fast Attack, we have a unit of nine Warp Talons, all armed with Lightning Claws, because I want to give Warp Talons a try. Chaos Predator, I've got one of them uh, armed with a twin last cannon, two last cannons and a Havoc Launcher. Got a Defiler with a Bow Cannon, Reaper Auto Cannon, Havoc Launcher and Defiler Claws. I've got a Molar Fiend with Molar Fiend Fists and Lasher Tendrils. And dedicated to Transport, I've got one Chaos Rhino with one Combi Bolter, another Chaos Rhino with another Combi Bolter. That was my 1500 points of Chaos Space Marines World Teachers. Here we are guys, so on the table that's uh set up now all the, the train as always so we are playing hammer and anvil so that's end to end so as we have here we have objective number one objective number two is around here somewhere yep just here objective number three objective number four is Hidden round the corner here. Objective number five is down near the silo. And objective number six is at the ammo crates. So as I chose, uh, no, I rolled for the deployment type. It's 
me that's going to deploy first. So let's get on the battlefield, deploy, and we'll get right back to you. Starting off with the Chaos World Eaters deployment. So we've got Cultists down on this end uh, to keep this objective. Got a Rhino with Karn and a unit of Berserkers. Got another Rhino with Berserkers in it. Demon Prince is sort of babysitting this Predator, which is beside an objective. Defiler and then Mauler Fiend up front, so ready to charge down. We also have our uh, Warp Talons in Deep Strike, so they'll be coming in a little bit later. With that, let's have a look at the Blood Angels. And here we have the Blood Angels counter deployment. So, first off, we have next door to Objective 1, we have a squad of uh, Devastate Missile Launchers. Then we have first squad of scouts with the big blob of Death Company with Slanguinius right behind, my Warlord, Vibrarian Dreadnought right behind there. We've got Lumates with uh, the Death Company Dread directly below uh, the gantry, second squad of Devastators and then the two squads of Scouts. I mean, you're wondering why this little man is down there, ready to hold that objective and six inches away vertically from his squad mates. So, with that, Ross actually deployed first, so he gets a plus one to the roll. Let's see what I get. Well, okay. Now I've got a four, so that so means... I'll get a steal and a six. Here comes the six. Feeling's wrong. That's not six. No, so with that, we're going on to uh, Blood Angels, turn one. So, Blood Angels have turn one, which is all good for me, because I need to do some shenanigans and a load of command points to spend. Um, yeah, I've got one tactical objective, which I need to make sure I get a decent one to get some uh, decent points on board before Ross goes ahead and uh, destroys me. So, with that, let's go and look at tactical objective uh, for my turn one, and then movement. So, turn one cars for the Blood Angels. Let's hope we get something decent. decent. Psychological Warfare, uh, score one point for failing a morale check, yeah that's not going to be great, but see what we can do, let's go on to Blood Angels Movement Turn 1. End of Blood Angels Movement Turn 1, so as always, missile launches are staying exactly as they are, same as the scouts. Missile launchers and scouts on the top there, but we've had a mass move for everybody down here. So we've got the Librarian Dreadnought, he's moved up. The um, Death Company Dread, he's advanced up his D3. Sanguinius is heading behind, but we have got en masse of Death Company with jump packs because I did cheeky little number of Furlon Fury. Them. So they've moved 12 inches forward and then you know, before the game starts and then they move 12 inches afterwards so they're in the face of Defi and the Mauler Fiends. And as well I've got the Martes there which is done upon Wings of Fire so he's there to give the bubble for re-rolls and for re-roll charges. So I've got Versus Vite on the Librarian Dreadnought so on the 5 up I get one of their command points back. And I do. So that, that originally took me down to 4 CP, I'm back up to 5. So with that, let's get on to the shooting. Oh no, they're psychics first. Like a miracle, I've actually got a psycho. It's going to be a very, very quick um, psychic phase. I'm going to do smite from the library and dreadnoughts onto the defiler. Now I was going to do wings of sanguineous, but that will leave my librarian well and truly open for the counter charge from all of those lovely world eaters. So with that, needing five, and it's, it's not cast. I'm not going to use a command point because I've got other things I need to do. Starting with missile launchers first, so uh -huh. I'm going to split fire, so top two are going to go against the cultists, which are over here to try yep. and get psychological warfare, and then bottom two are going to go against Khan's Rhino. Yeah, just to, just to say, so you're, uh, you're your captain down there, Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the one holding it. He wouldn't be able to see them. 
That's no. really good positioning, I just realised. He wouldn't be able to see any targets, but he's holding the objective and the rest of them are shooting. Yep. I like that, Rob. That but I've well also done. got the uh, ally chair that I may want to use. Oh, right, yep. Yep. Uh, so I'll see what how it does. So, going against the Coltis first. Mm -hmm. 2d6 shots. For 9. So I'm, they're going to be frag, aren't they? They are going to be frag. I'm just going to get some more dice, guys. Go for it. So, top two missile launchers. 9 shots into the Coltis. Mm okay. That's hitting all 3s. No reroll, but fair enough. Wounding on threes. That's five. There we go. No AP. No AP, so they are in cover. So it's going to give me a five up save. Five up oh. save. That, Ooh, that's, that's four, four going. going down. Going on to the two missile launchers that are uh, going into the Rhino. Uh huh. Yeah, we're going to put one as Signum onto that, so it gives plus one to hit, and the other one as Standard. So, what so when are you rolling so first? Roll for two plus first. That's a hit. He didn't need it. And the three plus. Oops, sorry guys. Yep. Neither did he. Okay. So strength eight. Strength eight, uh, tough seven, threes to wins. Oh, as oh. always. Oh, as, as always. But that's fine. But I'm going to now use the Am Am I Cherub on one of them on Cultus. Uh -huh. with a frag. Uh, looking at this, trying to get psychological warfare. I need some lucky rolls to wipe out the squad if it comes so to it. So it's now D6 shots. D6 shots for two. Hitting on threes, one hit, wounding on threes, one wounds, five oh. up. That saves it, but there we go. Going on to the second squad of missile launchers. So all shots going into Khan's Rhino, because I want to open that up. Yep. But I'm going to put one of them as Signum. So that'll be two plus to hit instead of three plus. Going for the two plus first. Two plus first. He hits. And the others for three plus. Two other hits. So strength eight. Three to wound. Three to wound. Only the one. Minus two AP. Here. Five up save. And he always gets oh, it. Geez. I'm going to use the Am I Cherub to do that again on one of them. Yep, so, so we'll crack into Rhino. Yeah, crack into the Rhino. One with the, the signal put on him. So of it hits course. on twos. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Right, with so that horrific roll for uh, missile launchers, going with all the snipers, so that's 14 of them, because one can't see, all into the Demon Prince. Just going to roll them all at once? All at once. Go for it. Hitting on threes. Give me some lucky sixes. So strength four. Fives to win, sixes are mortal in addition. Oh no. Two. Two, not even mortal wounds, three up save. Takes one. I'll take a wound, that's okay. Going with Contempt of Dreads, mm -hmm. so he's Calyx and Stormbolter into Defi. Into Defi, cool, yep. cool, cool. So you're going Stormbolter first, so hitting on twos. Three hits, five to wounds. Four, one wound. What's CP? Minus one. Yep. Four up save. We're fine. And Calyx. And yeah, strength seven. Yeah, strength seven on that. On what? On Kalish auto cannon. Uh, it's going to be force to wounds. Force to wounds. Three wounds. Minus. Minus one. Minus one. Four up saves. Uh, I'll let I'll let one go through. Yeah, one went through. Going to try and um, cause some damage on Deffy with the Death Company mm -hmm. with their bolt pistols. So that's. 10 of them, even though it's 13 eggs, I've got 3 Thunder Hammers, they can't take bulk pistols. So that's 10 shots, hitting on 3s. Does Lamartis give any rerolls? Yes, yeah, reroll to all. Yep. And then 5s to wounds. Better. Better. Uh, 3 up save. Yep. Uh, that one was passed, so it's just 1 wound. Going for first charge is. Death Company is going to multi-charge, Mauler Fiend and the Deffy. So Mauler Fiend doesn't have any ranged weapons, but the Filer certainly does. Let's start with Balkan. So D6 shots, 4-5. Hit on sixes. Hit on sixes, no rerolls. Doom Prince is just out of range. So sixes for one. 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 As always. And uh, wounding on twos. Yep. Minus. Minus two. So five up. D6 damage, see yep. how many you can ignore. It's D6, roll three dice. Three dice, 
three sixes. Go. Nope, nope. One guy down. I'll then do uh, the Havoc launcher next, get some dice, it's going to be d6 shots, d6 from Havoc, 4-3, that's one sixes, for Ooh. none, and uh, the Reaper. Reaper auto cannon, hit on sixes, for one, wounding on threes, no. nope, so uh, double one charge, yeah. ah you're in, all good. And we're going with Omarces for his charge, which I'm going to use Descent of Angels for a 3d6 charge. Because the way my dice are going at the moment, even that 9 on 3 dice, not going to work. But luckily, I can re-roll that. Yep, and... Uh, going, going into Defi. Defi, go for so, it. So, 3d6 charge. Oh, yeah. oh he, he's done it in style. Uh, yeah. And with that as well, see if I get one command point You've, back. Uh, tactical restraint, you yep. uh, can't. can't. I'll roll for it anyway. Yep. But there we go. So I'm down to three command points. And Lamar says, is in like a boss. Starting off with the Death Company themselves. Now I've got six guys that can attack Mortar Fiend, which mm -hmm. I need to break because Ross has just reminded me how horrific it is in combat with the amount of attacks it has. Mm -hmm. So I've got six guys against Mortar Fiend and six guys against Defiler. So, going against Morphine first, mm -hmm. two of them are Thunder Hammers, so three attacks apiece. The others are four attacks apiece due to Black Rage. Sounds good. So, as Lamar says he's within six inches, they reroll all hits. So Is that including the minus one one? Is yeah. it only field hits or reroll hits? Reroll all hits. Okay, yep. So, these are chainsaws, so these are hitting on threes. Good job for Lamar Oh, I love Lamar 100 points also, he's a good character. And from that, strength four, so normally wounding on fives, but from red first, he's wounding on fours. My dice really hate me today. So that's these are chain swords, these are okay. Four wins. Four wins in the Mother Fiend full armor save. Yep. Yep, so three plus. Take a wound. I'll have a wound. And these are the Thunder Hammers. So it's so the scary business. Yeah, hitting on threes. It's not oh. usually hit on fours because you get minus one. Oh, hitting on fours. Yep, to apologise. Uh, come on, guys. Uh, strength eight. Winning on threes because you charge twos. Twos now. Show me those ones. Just the one. Just the one. Uh, minus three, isn't it? Yeah. So it's going to be my five up demon. Of which only fail only. one. So that's three damage into the uh, uh, Mortar Fiend. And the six other Death Company into Defiler. So that's 20 attacks with Chain Swords and three with Thunder Hammer. Okay, okay. So, hitting on three, speed one because of the Martyrs. And one miss. Nice. Strength four. Normally winning on fives, now we're winning on fours. So. There you go, Ross. Cool. Full three up save. Three up save. Uh, and pass all them, of them all. Jesus. Oh, wow. Right. Right, Thunder Hammer's got to do the business. Hit on fours. Reroll. Re and threes, now bring it down to twos. Yep. Five up save. Uh, one saved, one gets through. Yep, so he's down to nine, nine wins. And Lamar says needs to do the business now. So he's got five attacks, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Go for to it. To start off with. One to Defiler. All hits. Oh, Ooh, you, need, again. You, need, you need that again. Uh, strength six, so normally he's winning on fives, he's now winning on fours. Yep. Not bad. It's four wins. Four wins, minus two. Minus two, so it's going to be uh, five up. Two get through. Stop using my dice, Ross. <laughs> and do three apiece. So, grand side of another four wins. Bring them down to nine, mate, five. Five, oh, we can do math. And it's the demon engines to attack back now. I'm going to start with the defiler. I'm going to put all its attacks, only three, into Lamartes. So try and cause some damage with its Defiler Claws. Three attacks, hit on fours. It's only the ballistic skill that deteriorates. So hit on fours. Two hits. Wounding you on twos because I'm strength 16. Have two wounds. 
minus mi millions, but minus three for a pin run. Sorry, one, one guy's three. Do you want to command point that? I cause D6 damage. D6 damage. So it could be high, could be low. Yeah, gonna have to do it. No. Nope. No. Nope. How many wins you got? Uh, he's got five. Five. Show me that five. No, nope, I'm gonna command point that. So we're bringing down seven. Uh, gonna command point it. Try and kill the Martis. No. no, only two wins. He's down to three left. And before anybody else starts screaming about uh, Black Rage to me, I didn't forget it. So six is I ignore the wins. I don't know, get six in total. Does that count? That does not count. No, no I was just checking. So yeah, Martis is down to three wins. Muller Fiends go next. I'm gonna activate Demon Forge on it because it's very handy and it allows me to reroll all hits and wounds. So this should hopefully hurt. Starting off with the Molar Fiend Fists, go with them. So I'm still at peak efficiency. I'm gonna get uh, four attacks to the fists against the uh, Death Company. Hit four is rerolling. No death to the False Emperor for them, sadly. But they all hit. Winding you on twos, because it's a mighty strength. <gasps> I think 14, I think it's double strength. It's high. Uh, all wounds. Minus. Minus three, three damage. So, six up, followed by a six up. Come on, guys. So no. Phil, now, three damage, you got to roll all four of them, three at a time. So, first one. Dead. Yep. Dead. Yep. Dead. Yep. Dead. So that's four gone. And the Lasher Tendrils from the Molar Fiend, so it's an additional six attacks. It's six attacks with Lasher Tendrils. Uh, hitting on fours, rerolling because of Demon Forge. Just reroll those misses. If only I had Death to the False Emperor on that. So all but one. And now it is Strength User, so it's actually Strength 6, which would have made me 12 last time. But Strength 6 for Lasher Tendrils, so wounding on threes, rerolling. Uh, reroll that fail. Yep, so you've got five wounds there. Minus. Minus two, and then two damage. Five. Five up. Two saved, three th through. So, first one, dead. Second one, dead. Third one, dead. So, three more gone out that squad. On to the morale phase. So, cultists took a bit of a battering there. Uh, they're going to fail on a three plus, so please don't fail. Yeah. Oh! I do I want to command point that? You know what? Uh, nah, have your point because if I reroll that, I bet you I'm still so going to. The way I'm rolling at the moment, I'm going to roll high. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to lose a lot. Uh, no, I'm going to lose four. Lose four? Yep. Sure. So it's not first blood. Nope. But, but with my blood angels, I've lost eight. Um, you can use Leash of Martyrs, which is a nine. Yep. So on a one, I'm fine. Nope. But. Um, can you use your last? No, right, no, shall no Oh, fear. and they should know no fear, yep. I, I lose two more. That was a bit lacklustre from Blood Angels, I'm afraid to say. Um, I thought I'd do a little bit more than that. I wanted to take at least one Demon Engine out, but with my dice of really bad uh, wounding and Ross's really good saving, it didn't happen. But I did score Psychological Warfare hey, against um, Cultists, so I'm on one point. I've only got one command point left. Joy is off. How many points have you got left? Uh, I think I've got seven. I think I only used one reroll there. I'll have to try uh, and I'm Demon Forge as well. Oh, and Demon Forge, so I'm down to six. Cool. So with that, let's go on to uh, Chaos Turn 1. On to World Eaters Turn 1. That was an appalling turn from Rob. I'm sorry, that was hard to watch. Uh, losing that many death company is 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 tough and uh, against the demon engines which are proving quite good in this one it has stalled me a wee bit so it's a wee bit difficult in that one but it does allow me now to sort of move my rhinos forward get Karn ready for bloods because that's what he's all about and maybe do a wee bit of damage uh, but yeah first thing we've got to do is draw a card to see if we can match Rob's point First card for the World Eaters is going to be Supremacy score D3 if you control any three objective markers at the end of your turn so that should be possible, uh, that would be really nice to get D3 victory points, let's see if we can. Let's go into my movement. Finished up the movement for the World Eaters, so what have I done? Karn and his Rhino didn't get so good advanced, so I decided to move them down to this side, giving me this objective. 
This rhino, on the other hand, was having it, so it moved up quite close, you know, quite close, and uh, just getting ready for berserkers to pop out and do their business. But uh, yeah, that's really, really nice to have them so close. I've also got my predator sitting on this objective, cultists on this objective, giving me supremacy. Dean Prince is going to back up Defiler, hopefully bring Lamartis down, and Molafine's just staying still with the Death Company. With that, no psychic from me, let's go into some shooting. Into the shooting phase, now I think you do this at the end of the shooting phase, but I'm just going to say it now. These guys are going to pop smoke, so minus one to hit, I'll remember that, maybe. Uh, but my the main thing I've got is my Predator, which is just going to put four of its last can shots into the Death Company Dreadnought. Uh, just because those claws, I truly fear them. They're really bad, and I can't target Librarian 1 because it's a character. So, four last cannons, hitting on threes, the, uh, the Doom Prince just a little bit away so I can't get rerolls, so three step. Really wish I kept the Doom Prince back, that would have been a smart call, but if he kills the Martyrs then it's fine. Uh, wounding on threes, yep, so one wound, minus, minus three. Minus three, he's got a six up. Six up, uh, six up save. No. No. Uh, D6. D6 damage, looking for nice and high. Four. Four. Yep, I'm pleased with that. Um, he's got black, uh, black Rage. Six is Ignore. Ignore's one. He's now down to five wounds. And the Havoc Launcher from the Predator uh, just into the Dreadnought as well. So D6 shots for two. Hissing on threes. Oh, I just threw that away. Uh, but they were both twos anyway, so they're gonna miss. Dean Prince next, I've finally given her a warp bolter after many, 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 many complaints from uh, viewers going, why don't you use a warp bolter? Now I have. So two shots, and he's just in range of these dev stairs up there. I don't like dev stairs. So it's gonna be uh, two set reroll ones. Uh, that couldn't be more cocked if I tried. Yep, both hit. Wounding on fours. One wound, minus one AP. You're so brings up to three up. Yep. yep. Ah, oh, you're okay. On to the charge phase. So I'm just going to put my Dean Prince charge into Lamartis. I need about four or five inch charge because I kind of need to go round. Yeah, that'll get me there. Dean Prince to activate first. So I'm going to put all my attacks into Lamartis because I charged him. It's going to be a total of seven attacks. Four normally, three for the Malefic Talons. Uh, yep, so it's going to be seven attacks, hitting on twos, rerolling ones, reroll ones, uh, and I believe Dean Prince have death to the false emperor. I'll just have a check. They sure do. So three extra attacks, hit on twos. Yep, all hit. Wounding on threes, uh, no rerolls because strength seven with malefic talents. Yep, yep, that's deadly. Uh, minus two AP, but I think you've got four up involved. Go for it, two damage piece here. Yeah, he's dead. Yep, that'll be Lamartis, and that'll be first blood. On to my elective next, I will go with the Mollerfiend, so I activate Demon Forge, which some may say oh, has a bit overkill, but it only hits in fours, so it's a little bit unreliable in that one, but I just think that will really cement it. So it's going to be me down to five command points. Mm -hmm. Yep. So four attacks from the the Molar Fiend's uh, fists, hitting on fours, just into Death Company, re-rolling everything. Yep. Now that one was a hit, so they all hit. And wounding on twos, re-rolling. All wounds, minus three. Six up. Nope, nope. three damage piece. Yeah, they're not going to survive this. No, so I would have the Lasher Tendrils after as well. Three, three. And three. No, that's a squad wipe. And that is it for World Eaters turn one. And you know what? A pretty darn good turn there as well. Dean with the Martyrs gives first uh, blood, and we also pretty much killed all the death company that was in front of us. The Mauler Fiends really did quite well there. And when they do get to attacks, so often people will snipe it because it can be deadly. Add on Dean Forge is really, really good. Uh, if only I had a Lord Discordant, that'd be awesome. So what have I scored? I have one for First Blood, and I also do get D3 because I have scored Supremacy. So I've got Karn in one, I have the uh, Predator in another, and Cultist in another. So give me D3, see what we got. Four, three, bring me to a total of four victory points to Rob's one. Uh, in terms of command points, I've still got five left, Rob's got one, 
as we move into Blood Angels, turn two. So, uh, picking up my turn two, um, yeah, all my death company are dead. Dead day, they're all dead. Um, which I wanted them to hold up a little bit longer on there. People will say, you're a bit stupid to from them forwards. I need to shut them down and the best opportunity was to throw them as far forward as possible. Those thunder hammers were just, that was terribly bad luck and good yeah. luck for me because three damage piece could have done it. Pretty much, but we shall see what we can do. So with that, with my one command point left, and I'll draw a card and see, let's see what we can do. So, Blood Angels uh, tactical objective, I've got one, two, three objectives, so I get three cards. So first one, secure four. That's over there. Easy peasy. Should, easy peasy, don't ever say that. Hmm. Secure five. Which I'll secure six. I'll secure six, sorry, it's even worse. It's all the way over the cultists. Um, Decept uh, decapitation strike. When this tactical objective is generated, work out which of your opponent's characters currently on the battlefield has the highest power rating. If two or more legitimate characters have the power rating, choose, uh, choose a score one victory point if the character was slain by a Blood Angel's unit this turn. So, what would that be then? That would be the Demon Prince. That would be Demon Prince. Right, his head is on, going to be on a platter. So, from that, guys, let's crack on. End of Angel's um, movement. So, again, missile launchers stay exactly as they are. Same with the scouts. Devastators and Scouts again. Well, we've got Contemptor, Librarian, uh, Death Company Dreadnoughts up, ready to take on the Demon Prince. Some Gwynius has done his 12 inch move, heading up to the Predator if need be, because it needs to cause some damage. So, with that, guys, let's go on to Psychics. Starting off with Smites from the Librarian, so closest target Demon Prince. Mm -hmm. Cast on five, that's cast. At yep. last, D3 for three. Ooh, okay, so he's down to so four left. Four left. And then I'm going to do Quickening on himself to give him plus three to uh, charge and D3 additional attacks. Go for it. Cast on the seven, that's cast. So he's now got the Quickening. First on missile launchers into Khan's Rhino, see if I can actually do some damage this time. Yep. One of them is going to be Signums, so we hit on two up, and the other three as normal. So Signums one, hit on two, he hits, and the other three. There, uh, you actually hit on fours, so I've activated smoke. Oh, smoke, yeah, good point. Yep. T two of them hit. And. Wounding on threes. Threes. Two wounds. Minus two AP, is it? Yep. So it's five up save. Nope. Nope, I'm debating a command point here because I know, well, you. You can destroy if you roll double five. And if, uh, if that goes down, I'm going to spend a command point, so I'll bring me down to four. Need to save it. Oh no! Uh, this could hurt me. So, uh, six. six. Yeah, ten wounds. Ten. It's ten wounds total. So One. you need a six to destroy. Last command point. You sure? Yep, got to do it. No, oh. it's down to nine. Down to nine. And see if I get the command point back. Oh, I do indeed. Going with uh, Contemptor, he's going to use his uh, Soul Cannon into the One Wing Rhino mm -hmm. and Storm Bolter into the Demon Prince. Would that Rhino not be closer? Oh, uh, yeah, Demon Prince character, isn't he? So, yeah, uh, I'll scrap a couple of wounds off that Rhino. Okay, okay. So oh. there's. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let's go against Deffy anyway. Let's call some wins on Deffy. Cool. Why not? Sounds good to me. So, six shots onto this bad boy here. Yep. Uh, normally hitting on twos, but threes because of smoke. Yep. One miss. Uh, strength seven. So, four to wins. Just the one. Just the one. <gasps> What's one, the AP? Uh, minus two, I think. Minus two. I'll roll and see. Because I can't. Four. Cool. We need to debate it. It's minus one, so I'm still alive. Yep, got damn it, boss. Going Storm Bolter onto Defiler. Yep. So hitting on twos. Go for it. No rerolls. And fives. Two wins, the up save. 
Oh, Four fields. Wins. Takes two wins. Five snipers into the rhino. Okay, okay. Needs to happen. So hitting on fours. Yep. Not bad. Just give me one six. One six will finish it. Five side to win. One six. That'll do it. Can't stop it. You know, I can't stop it. That'll be a mortal wound. Uh, so it's going to be see if it explodes. Not that it affects anyone. No. Nope. I'll deploy the passengers, then roll to see if any die. That is the occupants out of the rhino. Put Khan in the back there because if I put him at the front, then I'll just see missile launchers and everything targeting them. So not today, you know, there was a rhino in the way, but I don't want people to target Khan as much as possible. So there's 10 models on ones. We're going to have slain ones, so no ones, please. Uh, we have one one, so I'll be one corn berserker I'm going to choose to die. Going with the Death Company Dreadnought, he's going to put his Melter Gun and Flamer into the Demon Prince. Oh, okay. So, Flamer starts off with D6 shots for four shots. Winning on fives for one. One, so it's a re up save. I'm fine. Uh, melter Gun, hitting on threes. Please miss, please miss. He hits. Oh, Winning on threes. Uh huh. For wound. It's going to be five up Demon Save. I've used my reroll this time. No. Nope. I've used I it. D6, two D6, choose the highest. I can foresee his doom. He is dead. That's oh. Warlord. That's Warlord, yep, that's that's painful. Well, Brown Dread's going to do rapid fire into the World Eaters. Yep. Hitting on threes from his Storm Bolter. And win on fours for one. One, three up save. No. Nope. No, nope. no one gone. Toast. Good, good. Going with the snipers, going to do all of them at the same time. So there's 10 snipers, so the one on the floor can actually see the squad. Mm -hmm. And the other nine can see Khan. Okay, okay. So I'm going to do the one on his own. Yep. So hitting on threes. He hits. Okay. Wounding on fours. No, it doesn't wound. That's the poor roll out the way. Let's get these nine dice going against Khan. So I hit on threes. That better. Uh, winning on fours. Just the one. Just the one, and it's going to be a uh, three up save. Oh, I so saw a wound on Karn. Going with Devastators into the Mauler Fiend. Now I'm going to put one as Signum, so give yep. him plus one, and the other three as normal. Sounds good. So hitting on twos with the Signum, and the other three hitting on threes. All hit. Okay. So where is crack? So strength eight. Three's to wins. Three wins. Ooh, okay, okay. I need one more dice. Yeah. I mean I'll roll two dice, that'll, that'll be that'd be nice. Uh, no. no, five up demon save, well five up save in general. One saves, but two get through. D6 piece. D6 apiece. Got ten wins left. Got ten wins left. I do regenerate one at the start of my turn, which I did. Oh, uh, so, for yeah, three. I'm not going to use command point for that. I think you used your reroll already, and then you command point got it back. Yeah. Sure. But three damage yeah. is done. So here we go. All out. No, no, no surrender on this one. That's the that's the probably big turn of charges. For Sanguinius, he's going to be proud. Yep. So Sanguinius itself is charging into Predator, Barbarian Dread into Defi. And we've got the Death Company Dread into the Mortar Fiend. Which one are we starting with? We're going to go with Stanguinius himself. Okay, and you're stopping my Overwatch. Yeah, Angel, is... uh, uh, Angel Wings. So basically ignores Overwatch. Ah, and with four last cannons, I would have loved to have Overwatched. Yeah, we actually did roll it off camera. We did roll it. Uh, we rolled it off camera as a hypothetical, and I killed him. Uh, I caused seven seven wounds and uh, would have uh, absolutely destroyed him. Yeah. So that relic is. Uh, well, damn. His, where's his weight in gold? So it's a six inch charge. He oh, did. he wants it. Drives. So oh no. Go. Oh no. And we've got Librarian Dreads. Uh huh. He has got a seven inch, uh, six inch charge as well. Yeah, but uh, I do get Overwatch this time. Yeah. So here it comes. We'll start with the bow cannon. D6 shots for three. Hit me on sixes. Hit me on sixes. No rerolls. No. Oh, I've still got more shots. Uh, <laughs> Reaper auto cannon hitting on sixes. 
One. For one, uh, winning on fours, oh. it wins. Uh, minus one AP. Yep, fine. Oh no, Havoc Launcher. Four shots. Has gone sixes. Yeah, I really wish the bow cannon went last there. <laughs> Wounding on fives. Oh, I really wish the bow cannon. You've suffered two wounds. Two wounds. And um, minus. Uh, minus nothing. Uh, three up save. Three up save. Takes one wound. Oh no. He's down to six wounds. Uh, seven wounds left. So I'm going to hit the charge. Yep. Yep, he's in. By one. one. By just. Just. And we're going on to the uh, Death Company Dreads. Yep. He's actually got Magna Grapple, so I'll get plus two to my charge. Okay, I've got no ranged. No ranged. And that is six inches, so four inches. So I need a three inch charge, basically. Bring it. Double one will fill you. No. Oh, your guys side. want he's, this. He's going smashing and grabbing and causing havoc. Starting off with Death Company Dreadnought because if not, Ross will inter uh, intervene Absolutely. And, and rip me a new one. So, we're starting off with uh, base 4 attacks, but Death Company Dreadnought has got um, Black Rage. Um, Black Rage, yep, that'll be the one. So, he gets 5 attacks. 5 attacks. Hitting on 3s and re rolling because of his Blood Talons. Nice, nice. And again, mate. And everything. He's strength 10, mm -hmm. but with red thirst, he wounds on twos, rerolling these as well. Oh my word. Okay, that is minus, uh, minus two to armor. Minus two brings him to five up. He's at five up. Pass two. That's nine wounds. Nine wounds, it'll kill him. Uh, I'm going to have to spend a command point here. So I'm down to three. Yep. <sighs> five or die. He dead. No, he's dead. So if he blows up. I really don't want him to blow up. Well, I, I think it'd be okay. No, it no. is not. No. Where was that five? I'd roll a go. Uh, but that's the Mother Fiend crushed. So Rob's decided to, you can pile in six inches with, uh, or consolidate six inches with his uh, Death Company Dreadnought. So he's come towards the file. It is in base contact. I'm going to spend the last three command points to intervene with the, de uh, with, uh, with the Defiler. I'm going to activate Deem Forge because I really need to deal with that Librarian Dreadnought before it attacks me. I could go for the other Dreadnought, but if I do survive this, I can then activate him before the other one in my turn, and I'm hoping that might work. So we'll go for the Librarian Dreadnought with his three attacks, because I am damaged. Is it three? I'll double check that. Yep, three attacks. Uh, yeah, went out five wounds. Uh, five wounds, yep, three attacks, hitting on fours. Three attacks, hitting on fours, re-rolling because of Demon Forge. Nice. Okay, and it's twos to wound because I'm strength 16, re-rolling. Three wounds right there. Minus three. Minus three. Six up save. Six up. Nope, nope, and nope. Nope. D6 damage piece. This should seal the end of the Librarian Dreadnought. Oh, oh wow. Eight, 18 wounds. 18 wounds. Yeah, yeah that's him gone. And uh, see the explodes. Nope, nope. But that's my Warlord gone. Going with Smash Captain. See if I can take out the Predator, which I need to do. Yep. So, uh, four attack space, plus one for... Uh, Black Rage. Yeah, Death Company. Yeah, yep. Black Rage. I'm going to hit on twos, but with his hammer, I'm going to make it hit on threes. Rerolling ones. And... That wasn't great. Nope. Uh, strength eight. So... Threes, uh, but it's down to two. Yeah. Two wounds, minus three. Six up save. No, nope. it takes six damage. And the Predator to make a feeble temp back. D3 attacks, because I'm wounded. For one. Heading on sixes. Nope. nope. That's it. On to leadership. So Corbiserkers have suffered two casualties, so on a six, I will lose another one. Nope, we're all good. So end of Angels, turn two. Not too bad. I was quite nervous about throwing everything in there, but I had to do it because Ross was coming at me too quick and the amount of uh, machinery he had coming my way wasn't impressed. So, um, I had to go more thing because it was just running right uh, in close combat, which was typical. Points wise, I've actually scored um, Secure 4 with the Scouts, Decapitating Strike, uh, killing the Demon Prince. Also, Warlord Kill, so that gives me four points. 
Ross killed my Warlord, so that gives him an extra one. Brings up to five, so five to four. I've got one command point left. Ross, you have zero. Zero left. And I'm going to ditch secure objective six, because that's hidden un underneath with some scary, well, scared, I should say, cultists. Not really going to touch that. So with that, let's go on to World Eater turns. World Eaters turn two here. Now, Rob, that was actually a devastating turn from your turn one wasn't so good. I was thoroughly impressed there. Losing the Mauler Fiend when it was really on a good sort of steamroll there, uh, just to ungodly amount of damage. The Defiler had to use up three of my command points to basically survive. That Librarian Dreadnought could have really sealed the deal, but the Defiler obviously managed to fight back. It's left Karn and his Berserkers also a little bit isolated. Now they're a wee bit out of the way. There's some targets I can go for, but it's a little bit tricky. I also did, in my bloodlust, take out one of the ones that was closest to the objective, so I'm no longer drawn from that one. The Predator one is also contested because he's got his Lord nearby. So that's only going to leave me with one card to draw this turn, which is very much not ideal. With that, let's have a look at that card to see how it does. Draw my next card, Cure Objective Marker 2. Now, you know, if it wasn't for your captain, that would be an easy, easy score, but uh, he is just stopping me there, which is not ideal. I could move the cultists, and I'm very tempted to, to try and advance as their troop choice to secure it, but that's a little bit tricky on that one, and I need to start moving into position to take other points. Let's see how I do it as I go into the movement phase. Finished up the movement for the World Eaters. These Berserkers have moved this way. If I can get one or two up here, I should hopefully shred these scouts apart. These Berserkers have jumped out of their transport and moved up. I know it's a bit dangerous going against Contemptor, but I really need to do some damage against it. I just can't get to this tower. It's proving a bit difficult. But at least I can do some damage to this Contemptor. Defiler stayed still, Predator stayed still, because if I can hold that captain down just one more turn, it'll make a big difference. And Karn couldn't get a charge because he was too far away, but he has advanced six and getting me really darn close to that captain. So if he can just survive like a turn and then on my turn three I can charge, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Don't want to be charged by him though. If he kills him then charges Karn, that could be destructive. Cultists have stayed still, obviously. And then I have deep striked my warp talons in here. I'm hoping I'm just going to surround that guy on the ground floor, rip him to shreds. Failing that, I've also got this rhino who can drive into him as well and hopefully shut down the shooting. Uh, I don't want to kill him. If I actually kill him with the rhino or any of them and they stay out, they actually get out of combat. Basically, either kill them or hold them down is my plan, and that should save me from missiles. Well, it worked. Who knows? With that, let's do some shooting. It's going to be a rather short shooting phase, but hey, I'm World Eater, it's all about the combat. These uh, Berserkers are going to put their ball pistols just into the missile launchers because I don't like missile launchers and every one or two I kill would be nice, though you'll probably take out the lieutenant first. So, eight shots, because two of them are not in range. Hitting on threes for Berserkers? Yep. I'm going to check, they might be fours. Give me a yes, second. Uh, no, they're on threes. They're hitting on threes? Nice. So, ball pistols, hit on threes. Two misses. Wounding on fours. Wounding on fours. Four, yep, four wounds, nice. And uh, two up save. Two it? up save, even if I kill one or two. One. I kill one, you're going to take the, the lieutenant. Sergeant. Sergeant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. one. Good call. And I think that's actually going to be me for shooting. I'm not going to fire these, uh, these pistols, because you'll just take it off him if I kill him, and then I can't really charge them. I need to keep one alive. So I'm not going to fire there. Can't get a bead on anything else. Everything else can in combat. So let's go into the charge phase. Let's start off with the Corn Berserkers here, straight into this Contemptor. Would you like to overwatch? Oh, of course. I was going to hope you were going to say no, but. Yeah. So here we go with the auto cannon. Auto cannon sixes. One hit. Mm -hmm. Three's to wounds. Four wounds. Uh, AP minus one. one. Four up save. Nope, one dead. One dead. Storm Keep shooting. Nope. nope. One dead. Double uh, one or bust. Double on our busts. Ah, we're fine. Got my bad roll out of the way because I need good ones now. These corn berserkers next. Going into the scouts. Would you like to overwatch? Of course. Go for it. Sniper rifles. Not one. Nope. Uh, I think I need to also take off one of those corn berserkers. I don't know if I did. I'll have a check. Uh, right, so double one will fail me because I won't get it up. <laughs> no, I saw that one and I dreaded it, but that will get me a few up there. 
Warp Talon charge time. So you can overwatch when I deep strike in uh, because they've got blinding stuff. I can't. <laughs> technical term. Technical term, <laughs> technical term. I know my rules. Uh, and uh, oh man, if I fail this, it's gonna. This could probably be the most important one in the game because those five missiles, and then you're just gonna lay into those warp talons. Nine inch charge. I need this. I need it, and I've rolled really low from the last two charges, so this is destined to be okay. Nope. Oh, and I'm out of command. Buttons. Yes. Sorry, right. you're gonna have to sit there and hope for the best. Yeah, I do have that right. Always gonna attempt it. He's just gonna try and shut you down. Uh, he's I've not got gonna. Overwatch. You do have Overwatch. Oh no. Right. Okay. Uh, Four missile shots. Four missile shots. Don't roll sixes. Nope. Oh, we're okay. And a bolter. And a bolter. Don't get bolter. No. Shut him down. No. Oh no! This is gonna be painful. painful. Starting up with these berserkers here, uh, only two of them range, but they are gonna be eight attacks piece, two basic. Uh, then it's gonna be one for the chain sword, then one extra for well, charging. For charging, would have got that with my demon prince as well, but he slaughtered his target, so it's okay. Uh, and it's gonna be threes to hit, sixes or death to the false emperor. Two sixes. I'll try and death the false emperor. Nope, they're not adding to it. But still pretty nice. I am strength five naturally, so it's going to be three to wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, no, wow, that did not go well. Only three wounds. Uh, minus. Uh, minus nothing. So four up save. Four up save. Bing, bing, bing. Really, really. Oh no. Alrighty, so these Berserkers are going to try and chip away this Contemptor. There is nine of them with one champion, give me a total of 37 attacks uh, on the charge. So it's going to be three to hit, no rerolls, Death of the False Emperor applies. We'll have to have a look at that. After Death of the False Emperors and whatnot, we got 30 hits, wounding you on fives. Uh, yeah, that's okay. What is your actual armor save? Three up. Three up, that's okay. I'd usually now, unfortunately, I don't have the model with them to give them minus one AP, but I'd always highly rate it if you could. Go for it, so normal save. I'd take two wins. That's not good enough. And into my general activations, we'll go with the Defiler onto a Strenaut. Now, no more Demon Forge shenanigans from me. Uh, I did actually go up a wound, so I forgot to do that, so he's back up to six wounds. Hopefully, that'll keep me alive. Uh, so three attacks, hitting on fours, two hit, good start, twos to wounds, two, two wounds, wins. minus three AP. Minus three, so six up. Nope. Nope. Two D6. For three. Oh, for three, uh, that's three damage. It I, is, but I'm gonna, I've got... Um, I just needed to get a five, didn't I? Yeah, and oh. um, ignores. Six up, ignores one, I've taken oh, two. No. Now my turn to attack. So I'm going with Smash Captain. Yep. Four attacks this time. Uh -huh. I haven't got a charge or be charged. So four attacks, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Re-rolling the ones. Ooh, okay. Strength eight. Threes to wins, because you don't get your plus one anymore. For two. For two. Uh, minus three. Minus three, a single six will save me. Show me, like that would do. No. Nope. Oh, no. See if you blow up. Uh, I would love to blow up right now. No. no, no. no you're not. Oh, no. Going with Death Company Dread. Uh huh. He's going to slap with his blood talons into the defiler. Please don't. Uh, I want to. So, uh -huh. we are going with uh, four attacks. Doesn't get any um, additional attacks this turn because he didn't charge in. Mm -hmm. He's not evasive in. So we're going with hitting on threes with reroll. With reroll. Come on. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Wounding on threes uh -huh. with reroll. Um, yep, that's four wounds there, Ross. Okay, and it's uh, minus two. Minus two, five up save. I need to make three of these or die. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, I didn't make any of them. No. Does he explode? I would probably take the explosion right now. Explodes. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. But the filer is gone. And a plucky little scout is going to try and slap a angry world eater. See if you kill one and I fail to kill any, I'll be devastated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. So hit on threes. 
Yeah. Uh huh. Winding on threes. Fours. Uh, uh, you'd get. Oh no, it's no, on no, a new no. charge. Yeah. But uh, two's no. not going to do it. No, nope, not this time. So I have four attacks. Uh, he's got eight wounds. So he's top profile. So hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. uh, combat. Uh, no rerolls because there's nobody within reroll range. Uh, strength fourteen. Twos and twos. Twos and twos. Uh, minus three. Twos and twos. Prunk me. Going with a contempt of dreadnought with his fist of fury. So he's going uh, hitting on twos. He's still on eight wounds, so top profile. Yep. But no rerolls. Doesn't matter. And strength fourteen. Twos to wounds. Twos to wounds. So only two. Only two. Could have done better. Uh, six up saves. No, that'll be too just crunked. Morale phase, and it's always embarrassing when you have to take a morale test in your own turn. Uh, that means things did not go as planned. Uh, gonna go Corn Berserkers on a six, because I lost two in combat, one to Overwatch. I will lose another one on a six. No, there's a one. Good time to get my ones out of the way. And that is it for World Eaters turn two, and we can't, I think there's no way to describe that other than an unmitigated disaster. We have lost our Defiler, we have lost our Predator. We failed the charge to shut down missile launchers. That's giving Rob uh, two units of missile launchers and, uh, is it two units of snipers? Two units of snipers. The Berserkers didn't do that much damage against the Dreadnought. And then we've got Smash Capt uh, your Smash Captain and the Dreadnought coming for Karn. I think this turn is going to hurt for World Eaters. Rob, let's see what you can do. Oh yeah, I'm going to burn subject, uh, the objective marker too. Uh, because you've got Smash Captain and uh, the Dreadnought nearby. I don't think that's going to work. Let's see what you do, Rob, as we go into your turn two. Turn three. So, Angel's turn three. Um, Ross was very unlucky on that. Um, could have gone either way. Uh, I just needed to get a five with the Defiler. Like, that's yeah. oh, 2d6, I needed a five, and I'd finish off him. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Big bad think... Big bad I'm back in the But I think at the moment that uh, Dreadnought is uh, man of the match at the moment taken out sort of Mortal Fiend, Def, Defy. Um, if he takes Karn as well. It'll be hilarious. He needs a name. He needs a name. Absolutely. So with that, um, I'll count up what, how many objectives I'm actually controlling, get the cards, and we'll crack on with uh, movement for turn three. So with Blood Angels, uh, Objective cards. So we've got Purity, uh, Purity 3 Bloodshed. Score 1 for each point. Destroy a unit in the fight phase. D3 for uh, destroy 3 or more. And D3 plus 3 for destroy 6. If I add my death company, then it'll be a different matter. But at the moment, it's going to be difficult. Secure Objective 3. Now that's surrounded by World Eaters and my Contemptor. If you can cause some damage and make them run away, there's a Possibility, but it's looking a lot unlikely. Then overwhelming, overwhelming firepower. Uh, shoot things and score points. That's more likely going to be my go-to at this moment in time. So with that, guys, let's crack on with the movement phase. End of my movement phase for Blood Angels. Uh, as always, destroy, uh, destroyers, devastators. I sat there on that objective, ready to take on the warp talons. Same as the Devastators there, Snipers, Contemptors shuffled a little bit, ready to um, smash and grab some heads of the World Eaters. Skelks are being brave, very brave, and taking on the uh, World Eaters themselves. And then the Death Company Dreadnought has munched on forward, ready to light the flames, fire the Melter Gun, and then smash can in the head with the blood talons. Smash Captain has been a bit chicken at the moment, but I'm looking to score the points for objectives there. So we shall see what happens. So with that guys, going on to shooting, turn three. Going with Death Company Dreadnought, that needs a name. Going against Khan, see if we can break a third thing this game. Yep, yep. So we're going with Melter Gun first. Yep. Hitting on threes. He hits. Mm -hmm. Two's the wounds. Mm -hmm. That's the wounds. Four up, uh, Sigil of Corruption. Four up! Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Woo! Flamer. For four. Yep. And four's the wounds. For two. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, three up save. 
Takes a wound. Take a wound down to, I think, four or five. Think it's four. four wounds left. Yeah. Devastators going into warp talents. I'm going to do as many shots as I can mm -hmm. with frag missiles. One of them is going to have signum, mm -hmm. so I'll be hitting on twos, the rest on threes. So you need to roll that d6 yep, shot separately. So, so d6 for one. Okay. Hitting on twos. Yeah. Wounding on fours. Wounds. Three up save. Fine. Cool. And the other three for nine. So three, six, nine on threes. And fours for two. Two three ups. One dead. Whee. You also have a. Does your champion have a combi bolter or a mm, bolter? Yeah, he has a bolter. Two shots because you're in rapid fire. Both here. Both here. See if he kills more. No, nah, no, not he's not. Stop. Ten sniper shots into that talent. Yeah, you're going to need to do better than that. Looking for mortal wound fest. And people know what a mortal wound is like when we have met. So, hitting on threes. Okay. Moving on fours. Six or mortal wounds in addition. One mortal wound. Two, uh, two mortal wounds. Two more wounds. That's two dead. Four saves. And three up saves. And our one that is uh, three dead in total. Yep. Going with uh, four missile launches in, so on. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, I haven't got any signum, so it's four D6 shots. I'm going frag. Go big or go home. Uh, better. It's 12. So that's four, eight, nine, ten. Let's get you guys. I believe that was statistically average. What was there? Here yeah. we right. Please do it. Uh huh. Force to wounds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no. Only two. Only two, three up saves. Yeah, both, both saved. Death Company Dreads is going to charge into Khan. Cool, Khan will overwatch with his pistol. Uh, on a six? Uh, basically on a six, reroll uh, re mm -hmm. ones. Uh, if I roll a one, I do suffer mortal wounds because it always kind of overcharges. Nope. Don't get reroll that, so nope. Oh, he's in. Oh, he's in. What about your smash, Captain? Mm, no, I'm going to leave him there because if we go on to turn four, then he can raise me another stratagem. So I'm going to leave that as that. Thinking about it all, Smash Captain's going to charge into Khan. Okay. Yeah, he's in. Big charge. Starting off with the Death Company Dreadnought, because I want him to get another kill to his uh, nice little sash that he'll have underneath. Yep. So, five attacks, four and all, but Black Rage on top. So he's hitting on threes, re everything because of Blood Talons. And that's everything. Yep. Two's to wound. Yep. We are in ones. No need for rerolls. So mm. I have to make four of these four ups. Four four ups. Oh, close, but not good enough. That will kill Khan. The plucky scout again. He's going to go and try and stab him with a small knife. So hitting on threes. He hits. Winning on fours. He doesn't wound. End of that. Going to activate my Berserkers here next. They're going to go into Contentor. There is seven of them, three attacks piece, and the champion an extra one, so 22 attacks. Hitting on threes. Death of the False Emperor gives me an extra three. That was a six. I'll just reroll three of these. Yep. Cool. So, a few misses. Uh, that was a six. That one counts. Mm -hmm. Cool. Wounding on fives. Oh, that was cold. Nah. But plenty of possible wounds. Unfortunately, these guys are more that what's wounds. More for shredding infantry, so that many three up saves. Uh, three takes three wounds, so he's down to seven. That's still up operation. Contention is going to slap back with four attacks, hitting on twos with his fist. Wounding on twos. And six up save. Six up save. Six up our death. Two survive, two go down. Two berserkers still fine on this platform, hitting on threes with six sacks. No death to the false emperor for me. That's really poor. And then wounding on fours. Uh, wounding on threes, so that'll be three wounds. 
Do you have saves? Four up saves? Four up saves. Oh, these guys just won't go down. Come on. Warp Talons took four casualties, I had nine in the squad, so on a five or six I'm going to lose more because the lead trip eight. No, nope. we're just okay. So I ended my turn three. Um, could have been a bit better. Um, I won four in power in that list, I was not what I had. Should have uh, done it, but haven't. So I've got one for purity through bloodshed for, um, for the fight phase for killing Khan. So that gives me one point, brings it to five five. Ross has still got zero command points. I've got one left, single one. Could be good. Um, but I'm going to drop Secure Objective 3 because I don't think it's going to work very well at the moment. Uh, I know there's only five guys there. I'm going to get two cards next turn, potentially. So I need to be careful what I do. So with that, guys, let's go on to Chaos, turn four. World Eaters turn three, uh, not, not, four. not four. So yeah, it's looking quite perilous here. I've lost my line, like, Rob is there. He's got a Dreadnought that's shredding everything it comes into touch with, uh, and the Smash Captain's still really to do anything. Well, he killed a Predator, so yeah, he has done a lot. So I've lost my lines. I really need to get my Warp Talons into combat, and I really need to shut down these missile launchers. That's my main targets. I do get to draw one card because I do have unit here. It does have more models and they are troop choice, so they do get that because I'm world eaters, they count as troops. <gasps> it's looking tough. I really need to shut stuff down. With that, let's go into drawing my cards. We have drawn our card and uh, quick version is bad. Rise to glory, score one victory point if, you, if at least one enemy character, vehicle, monster was destroyed during this turn and the last wound it suffered was inflicted by a heretic star's character. Uh, all my characters are now dead, so I can't achieve it. And that's it for my movement phase. So Warp Talons move this way. Basically I can shred one of the snipers apart, which would be really good, and then maybe make my way on top of this area before they get a bead on me and shred this area apart. Rhino has came in here, he's going to charge into these uh, dev stairs, or at least the guy at the bottom, and try and shut them down. And I mean, these berserkers, oh boy, I mean, they are really letting me down here. And this one's proving a bit difficult as well. Let's just get shooting, it's only pistols. Combi Bolter from the Chaos Rhino. I'm actually going to put that into the Devastators on top here. I'll only get two shots, won't be rapid. If I shoot this guy, uh, Rob will obviously take him away and I can't charge him. So that would be a bad shot. So let's fire into these Devastators here. Two shots hit on threes. With uh, one miss, one hit. Four to wounds. Four to wounds. Yep, two up cover. save. Yep. Thank goodness for cover. Five pistol shots into contentor. Hitting on threes. Nope. Fives. Winning on fives. Yes. Three up. No. Down six wins. Just to clear, I'm not going to fire with these guys. I'm going to try and do it in combat. With that, let's go into combat or let's go into charge face. Right now into those Devastators, do you want to overwatch? Oh yes. Yep. So I'm going to use Sergeant first, bolt gun. Yep. Sorry, you, guys. you are rapid firing so you get an extra shot, but that was a miss. That was a miss as well. And four missile launchers going. This is where you need the crack. sixes. A crack, obviously. Oh, I see one, two. I see two sixes. Oh no. Right. Three's to wings. Uh-huh. Two wings. Five up save, made them both. No. Nope. I failed them both, d6 damage each, and uh, I've got, got ten. 10 wounds. Eight. Eight, but still... Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, uh, two inch charge. Yeah, he's in. He's in, I mean, ugh, but I think I came off the worst there. Warp Talons next, and into, uh, into the snipers, do you want overwatch? Oh yes, five snipers, yep. incoming. No. Nope. Uh, and again, it's kind of like a two-inch charge for the one at the base. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's getting it. So we're going to start off the Rhino. Now, I've taken so much damage there, I'm down to one attack. But I actually don't want to kill you, because if I kill you, and you don't pile in, which you don't need to, no. you can then actually fire next turn and end yeah. its life. So you want me to kill your guy, I don't. Don't kill him, Rhino, you get one attack, so you hit a six. No. Nah, see, fine. Okie dokie. Let's do the warp talents. 
Warp Talons, it's time to shred. So we're going to get uh, 16 attacks, one basic, plus one for Lightning Claw pairs, extra one for charging, and then Champion gets an extra attack. So he's getting four, each other guy's getting three. So 16 attacks, hitting on threes, sixes are death to the False Emperor. Uh, only one six, and a bunch of fails. So one extra one possibly, nope. It'll be forced to wound you. But being able to reroll because lightning claws. And then lightning claws. That one's cocked. But so far, all wounds. Nope. That many saves. Minus 2 AP. Minus 2 AP indeed. Six ups. Yep. Oh. oh six don't count, up. don't count, drop die. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, they're shredded. Con Berserker is still chipping away this Contemptor. It's going to be 16 attacks. Hitting on uh, threes. Whoa, two death to the False Emperor. I'll take out the misses first. There was actually quite a few of them. Oh, and two. Uh, and the train as well. Yeah, and the train. Smashing, smashing, smashing. Fives to wind. I need this to be good. Uh, not good. Two. There you go. Cool. Two, three ups. Takes another wound down to five. Back to the cheeky scout. Single attack. He on threes. He hits. Winning on fours. He, he wounds. He wounds, what champion? See if he kills a berserker while I've been trying to kill one for ages. Oh, oh we're <laughs> fine. Never mind. Let's go back. Come berserkers to get you back. Come on, shred a few of them here. Six tanks, hit on threes. Ooh. Death really, of the False really? Emperor. There we go. Really don't like these scales, do you? Three is to wins because I'm strength five. Yep, three wins. Kill. Kill some of them. Kill all of them. Oh! Oh, so he finally got. You can actually keep him there if you want. <laughs> He's been a champ. Yep, yeah, let's keep him there. Yep, I actually can't pile in that far. Rob's actually chose to kill him, though he was a champion for holding up the Berserkers for so long. But because they're killed and I can't really, you know consolidate up there because you're holding that area uh, you will get to shoot next turn which is uh, bad for me let's go into this contemptor next contemptor hitting back against world eaters uh he only de degenerates his weapon skill blister skill so he's hitting on threes now okay okay four attacks where's cut when you need him so winning on twos two wounds two wounds six up saves one is picked up and crumped. And um, we're going with a sergeant to slappy slappy against the rhino. Yep. So hitting on threes, one hit. Wounding on fives. He wounds. See if I fail this uh, and down to one wound, I'll be very embarrassed. Yes. Be oh, for the love of everything. Down to <laughs> one wound. How did I lose nine wounds? That's quite interesting. And that is it for the World Eaters, and my momentum seems to have entirely stalled, and quite finally, that was a bit of a disaster. So the Berserkers finally killing a scout, and it, I can't get up and get any more of them, which may come back to haunt me. Warp Talons came in and shredded, but I couldn't quite hide them from the return volley fire. I uh, don't think the scouts can really get me, but uh, the missiles certainly can. On this note, I would probably concede we may be drawing in points, you know, but, you know, the Dreadnought, I mean, that Dreadnought, that Talon Dreadnought is a monster. He's done really well this, this game. Smash Captain's done okay, I think he can do more, but we're going into, I'm going to allow Robbie's turn four really to see how he does, because if he does really badly, maybe. But I did lose nine wounds on a Rhino charging <laughs> Devastators. Nine yeah. wounds. That was just to shut you down. And even then you'll move up a level in your flee, so you'll probably shoot me next turn. I can't chase you up a building as much as I'd love to. So I'll do your turn here, uh, but I don't think it's going to go well for me. Let's go on to Blood Angels turn four, and just say the points are 5-5. Five, five. Mm -hmm. Rob's got one command point. So on to Blood Angels turn four. Uh, feel sorry for Ross, because that could have gone a lot better his way. But uh, What happened to the Rhino? That was... That, that was heroic Mark. Mark three and... Um, destroying devastators with missile launches of doom. Yep. Um, didn't like that Rhino coming towards them. Put it nope. on his sire, poof, get off. 
Yeah. So with that, um, yeah, see what I can do on this uh, turn four. So I'm not actually holding any objectives that I can actually score some points from. So I've got overwhelming firepower from the last turn. So I'm going to keep that and see what I can do. So I'll recap on my movement. So in my movement, uh, Devastator Sergeant has jumped upstairs with his, uh, his rest of his squad to try and take out either a rhino or something of similar pain in the backside of. Devastate stayed as they are, same as the uh, snipers. Contempt has moved back for a particular reason. Smash Captain has come bounding over to try and take on those uh, world eaters. Snipers here, ready to open up on whatever they need, need to, to score some points. But also we have the man of match for me at the moment, the um, Death Company Dreadnought is ready to burn some heretics under that, um, that building with a flamer, melter and a potential charge. So with that guys, let's go on to shooting. Starting off with the heroic snipers, Four snipers into the warp talons. Okay, okay. So hitting on threes. Ugh. Not like that, they're not. I think they're a little bit scared from the world eaters dying up below. So, wounding on fours. And a mortal wound, so one dead. So that's one dead and one and a three plus. Yep, so. That's one, right one dead. Going with the snipers on top. They can't see the warp talons, but going to do three onto the rhino to mm -hmm. deny Ross line breaker and two onto the World Eater squad here. So, going for the Rhino first, hitting on threes. Nice, nice, let's do that again. Get those sixes again, and it's gone. Winning on fives. It's one wound. One wound, save and a three. Yep, he's okay. And then two on uh, squad here, two here. Four to wounds. One wound. Three, uh, three up save, I'm not completely in cover. No, nope. Ooh, another one goes down. Missile launchers into the warp talons. Okay, okay. Do, um, frag shots. Yep. So 4d6 shots. For 13. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No signum. Hitting on threes. threes. And fours again. Oh dear, that's only three. I'm not fully in cover, so it's only going to be three up save. All, All fine. fine. And I forgot about these cults, so I would have drawn an extra card, I think, last turn. Uh, either way, I don't think it's going to help me. Flame away. Flames for six. Two, okay. Three, six. Running on threes. I'm going to claim cover for this one, so five up saves. Toast. Oh, toast. That gives me overwhelming firepower as well. Last action this turn for me at the moment. Smash Captain going into the Berserkers. I can overwatch you because nope. you've got your relic. So, yep, yeah, there we Yep, smash away. Bounty bounty. So, five attacks. Hitting on threes. Reroll the ones. Reroll the ones. Rerolling the ones. Don't just hate twos. And then twos. I'm going to use my last command point. I can't get it back. I've got nothing mm. else to use it on. Can you not get it back? No, nope. Virtuous Vitae is not on the board. All right. Six up saves. Survive. Nope. They're gone. That's a squad point. I could have got, out of that, three squads I wanted to shoot down, which was Rhino, which, yeah. Uh, Warp Towns, which were more of a threat, and. Um, uh, cultists. Oh, excuse me. So, cultists, yeah, flaming death. All good. Smash captain, destroying four berserkers. All good. Killing a rhino on one wound. Suffered nine in my own turn, and you can't even cause one on your own. One wound left. <laughs> but hey, hey. Um, warp town still four left, could cause some havoc. But we shall have to see. So what's the points at? Uh, so points are, I score over one firepower, which brings me up to six to five. Mm -hmm. You've got line breaker, I've got line breaker to so seven to six. I've got no command points left. And on that note, I am going to concede.
So just to justify a wee bit, the Rhino can't stop you anymore. I can't climb walls, so you've now got this tower of uh, missiles to fire back. I could move the uh, warp talons up here and I could probably wipe out most, if not all, the people up here. Uh, which would be a great success, but then Smash Captain's probably going to hurt me for it. Uh, you're controlling more of the board. These Berserkers can't really get these scouts. I could start shooting them and maybe get them. But generally, I think just with Smash Captain and other things, I'm not pulling ahead. What am I down to? Are you know Berserkers or Rhino and Warp Talons? On second thoughts, Rob, I'm actually going to continue. I do have a plan. I don't think it's going to work. But at the moment, I am going to draw two cards. One for over here and one for the Warp Talons. And I could cause damage. Yeah, can happen. You know what? No, I'm not going to quite concede yet. There is a slight plan I could do. Uh, pretty early to call there. I mean, it's really dangerous. You have some very good units on the field. You are leading by one point. But there's still a chance. The Warp Towns over here, are possibly, if they can shred everyone up here, would be great. Corn Berserkers over on this side have got to abandon their position and go for the Devastators. If I do both of them, obviously Smash Captain's my biggest threat and the Snipers being a bit of a pain, I'm really not that worried about the Dreadnoughts, I don't think they're going to do it as well. I'll get to draw two cards and if those prove to be good, then it could go in the World Eater's favour. So don't count me out yet, though it's not looking good. Draw my two cards for holding objectives, so I've got Secure Objective 1 and Witch Hunter. So Witch Hunter I can't achieve anymore because I've already killed it. Secure Objective Marker 1 is actually scored automatically. So that brings it back to draw. So if everything goes well, then hooray. Uh, yep, simple as I just need to reach my two targets, do some damage, see what we can do. Let's go on to the movement phase. So I've moved my Berserkers around here now. It does mean I don't think I can actually make the charge here. So I've got to survive this gauntlet of shots coming their way. Uh, but it's all possible. Rhino's going to score me a point, which is very nice, and Warp Talons hopefully are going to shred every man alive up there. Let's do some shooting, see what we can do. These Berserkers are going to fire their bow pistols, so four in range of these Devastators, I like to kill them, and then two are in range of these Snipers. So for, And if they manage to kill more than they did in combat, I'm just going to be ashamed of them. Four bow pistols into Devastators, hitting on threes. Okay, okay. Wounding on fours. Uh, for two wins. Two two up saves. Yep. No, oh, one dead. I oh. mean, they've done relatively better, Boom. and that's just going to be your sergeant, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. And two bolt pistols at the snipers, hit on threes. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Nope. Nope. Combi bolts are rapid firing into the missile launchers. Hitting on fives. Hooray! Ah, only I was one better. Didn't take all those missiles in the overwatch. Wounding on fours. Yep, have two wounds. Two two ups. Yep, all yep, good. All good. Warp sounds are going to attempt a heroic charge against both these units here. Would you like to overwatch? Oh, of course. I should mention their rule only allows not to be overwatched in the turn they deep strike in, so yep, obviously that's you get to all shoot good. now. So, snipers. Sixes. Nope. I'm going to do frag for the missile launch. Keep in mind I'm going to be rocking a two up save while being cover. Uh, I'm within the terrain. Uh, uh, debate, debate, debate. I mean, I still have to do frag. Okay. For that well shots. Mm -hmm. So that's 14 shots. Yep. 4, 5, 10, 14. Go for it. And then sixes. Four sixes. Yep. Wounding on fours. For none. For none. I mean, it's double one charge. Yep. Cool. Yep, and I'm going to start shredding. Just to mention, these Corn Berserkers aren't quite in range, so I'm not going to be able to charge this turn, but possibly the next. Going to go with the Warp Talons next, who are going to just put all their attacks into the Devastators. So they're going to get three attacks apiece, with the Champion getting four, bringing a total of 13 attacks. 13 attacks, hitting on threes. And no rerolls, and one chance at death to the False Emperor. Yep, so that's going to be 12 hits, wounding on fours, re-rolling. Re-rolling thanks to Warp Talons, and thank goodness because that wasn't very good. Much better, that one's going to be cocked. Which doesn't help. That many saves, minus 2 AP, it's going to be a 5 up save. 
Yep, that's devastated. It's gone. The right scouts are going to do six attacks back. Mm-hmm. Let's try and do this. So I hit them on threes. Ding, ding, ding. No, only three. And force to wounds. Bing, bing. Two, three up saves. Oh, nailed it. Fine. Warp talents don't care. And that is it for turn four, four World Eaters. Okay, I was hoping a bit better for like the Corn Berserkers to run in, maybe kill some of the Devastators, but that might cost me later on. The Warp Talons though, Shred of the Devastators, keeping up with the Scouts. Yeah, not bad. We did score. Secure Objective Marker 1, which is excellent, bringing it now to, I think at the moment, 6 apiece? 6 apiece. Yeah, so I just need a really good last turn, and I need Rob to have a really bad turn. I'm going to burn Witch Hunter because I can't achieve it. Uh, I could keep it in my hands, but why? So let's go on to Rob's turn 5. So, Blood Angels turn 5. Um, it's 6 apiece, going down to the last turn. I need some good cards, somehow. Um, yeah! We shall have to see. But it's going to be a very, very quick turn. Let's see what happens. So the cards for this turn, we've got Area of Assault, uh, score one victory point if I kill something uh, with a character that's got the fly keyword. And then Fall of the Angel, score one victory point for one enemy character that was slain by one of my Blood Angel units. Yeah, there's no characters left on them. You killed them all too early, Rob. Shut up now. Slayed them all. That voice in the background, be quiet please. Um, so with that, let's crack on with Blood Angels movement. And end of Blood Angels movement. Scouts have made a tactical retreat, so the warp turns are now free for a charge. From Smash Captain himself, I want to try and reduce those down as much as possible for him to go and slap some warp talent ass. So I've got Contemptor, he's there ready to lay down some shots against warp talents or against the world eaters that are down here. Rhino's being a pain, as always, with one wound, scoring that victory point. I have to throw some missiles or something against them. So with that, let's go into shooting. Starting off with four snipers into the Rhino. Bring it! Let's break him. So, hitting on threes. Uh-huh. Single six will do it. Oh, the five mate. Oh, and a three, yep. I'm fine. I'm fine. You hate that rhino. Oh, I hate that rhino with a passion. Let's go on to the next. Contemptor going with Stormbolter into um, Rhino uh -huh. and then Michaelis into uh, these guys. Yeah, because you can just see them in yeah. the back one there. So, Stormbolter into Rhino first, hitting on threes now. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Three hits. And winning on fives. Uh, where was the nope. other dice? No. Nope. Not this time. Just be a bit careful throwing them. Yep. Yep, and next lot of shots. Uh, so the Rhino's staying alive. Yep, six oh, shots oh, oh, oh. into these. Okay. And we're winning on threes. There we go. Minus one. Minus one, four up save, four up save. One dies. Bink. Devastate squads doing two frag into what talents, two crack into the rhino. Yep. Need to try and break it. So. Which one's going first? Crack first. Crack into rhino. rhino. So hit on. Oh no! <laughs> That's fine. Two frag into talons. Yes. Yeah, so seven. Seven. Uh, threes. And then fours. Four. Three. Three, uh, two up saves, because I'm in cover. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. I'm going to smash caps in. Strength to talons. Oh, right, yep. Uh, straight in. Straight in. <laughs> uh, do you want to roll to uh, just roll your attacks? Yep, five attacks. Cool, cool, cool. Hit on threes, re-rolling ones. Show me all the twos. This was one, two, okay. And then you've got your re-rolls. That's three. Twos to wounds, because you're charged. Two. Two, and that'll be five up in ball, because they're demons. Nope, nope. two gone. Two gone. Warp Talons attacks back, uh, they get two pieces and champions in there, so that's going to be five attacks. 
Hitting on threes. No death to the false emperor. Wounding you on fours, re-rolling. Re-rolling. Nope, three wounds. Three, three of pink ones. Takes one wound, he's down to four. So, end of turn five. Uh, yeah, very uneventful. Uh, thought I was gonna score some more points on that. Didn't score the ones that I needed. Uh, still six apiece. Uh, that rhino is still sat there as oh, nice as ever. And it's the only one that's going to draw me a card this turn. If that card wins me the game, you're going to hear that rhino. We'll roll, roll on to turn six, potentially. Hopefully so, not. <laughs> so with that, let's go on to World Eaters turn five. So I didn't think it was going to happen, but somehow it did. I'm taking a turn five with how many bottles I got left? Not many. Uh, but we can still try. I basically need to score one point and then pray this game ends. If I do so, a completely undeserved victory for the World Eaters. I don't think I deserve this one. It's all down to that plucky rhino that doesn't die to try and score a point. Let's see if we what we draw, because that's what's the most important thing. So here is my card. It is the Will of Chaos. Roll a d6 when this tactical objective is generated and at the start of each turn thereafter. Score one victory point if you control the objective marker whose number corresponds to the d6 result rolled at the start of this turn. So let's talk about the good options. Five, I could probably advance and get back to it, which will be fine. One, because the, the rhino, the heroic rhino, uh, is holding it. And maybe three, maybe three, because I can get the warp talents down there, then okay. I can't really get four because the scouts are holding on to it. And I can't get in my own lines because two is away over here and this Dreadnought will not leave six. So really uh, don't get any even numbers, it has to be an odd number. One, three or five, two, four, six uh, is bad. Do not roll even. What was doing instead? Five. Five should be the Berserkers moving over to there. That's all I've got to do and that will score me a point. So what have I done for my movement? Warp Talons have got out of dodge. Basically, I think if Rob kills them, he scores a point as long as he kills them uh, in the fight phase with his unit that flies. So get out of there. Rhino stayed still. Rhino stayed still. Advanced, mighty, got this objective marker. So if I score it and this game ends, hilarity will ensue. Chaos Rhino. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Chaos Rhino is going to try and pepper off these Devastators. Four shots because you're in rapid fire, heading on fives because I'm so hurt. That one's cocked and I've lost one dice, so that's, that's two hit. Three hit. Three hit, nice. Wounding you on fours. Three wounds, show me three ones. Uh, nope, you're so far okay. Oh, you're super fine. And that is it for turn five. Uh, yeah. Now I check the Will of Chaos, it's a bit of an odd one. Roll a d6 when the tactical objective is generated and the star of each of your turns, well your turns thereafter. Score one victory point if you control the objective marker whose number corresponds to the d6 result you rolled at the start of the turn. So I actually have to score at the start and be on that objective marker pretty much before I roll it. Because I'll have to roll at the start of my turn and then if I get it, I don't know which comes first, the score or the, or the objective on that one. Bit of an odd one. Either way, I don't actually score it. I don't so, actually, as much as I've moved on to it. So it's still six apiece. Still, still six apiece. I will take this draw, because I don't know if I'll live another turn. So on a one or two, this game ends, line breaker stuff, six apiece. You know, I think that's the score. I hope that's the score. That is, that's good, think, mate. One or two, end this game, because I don't, I don't think I can live another go. No. Nope. Nope. Rob, hurt me, hurt me bad. Take your turn six. I don't think it's going to work for me. So the Angels actually get a chance for rectification and penitence. Um, Finish this, Rob. I need Finish to. Finish it. I really need to. So um, I do get quite a few tactical objectives. I get... I think you're going to get three. One, two, three. I do indeed. So and I've got at least two uh, I could score as well. So I've got a good chance of scoring some points, potentially. No, not, not counting chickens just yet. I think one of us is just waiting for Kingslayer. If one of us draws that, it's going to be good. 
So with that, let's go on to my turn six. So with the Blood Angels cast, a little bit difficult, but should be all right. Hold, uh, so aerial assault from last turn, so kill something um, with Smash Captain, basically. Secure objective one, um, which that Don Rhino is still holding. Hold the line, have three squads uh, behind my lines, and uh, defend objective five, which right here, guys, is where all the world leaders are sat. So with that, let's go on to Blood Angels movement. End of Angels movement. So I've moved one missile launcher down to uh, get hold of uh, objective one, if I can take the one wound off the Rhino. Smash Captain is hunting down the two last warp talons. The uh, scouts have moved about. The top one has stayed exactly still, but the others have moved down to be behind um, my deployment zone. Same with the scouts. Directly down there, two of them have stayed still, but the other, two, uh, the other three have moved around um, within my 24 hour, uh, 24 hour, 24 inch bubble. And the Contempt of Dread is shimmied, ready to take some, uh, fire some shots down at these world eaters here. So with that, let's go on to Blood Angels shooting. Right, Rob, end me. Just end <laughs> this game. How is that rhino still existing? I have no idea. Okay. So we're going with a uh, single sniper at the top and the two behind uh, the silo uh -huh. into the rhino. Right, right. Okay. hitting on threes. Two hit. Cool, cool, cool. Winning on fives. No wounds. Kill that rhino. Right. Going with Contemptor into the Rhino. Uh -huh. Everything. Yeah, okay, yeah, do it. Do right. it. Go for it. Storm Bolter, hitting on threes. All hit. Uh -huh. Wounding on fives. One <gasps> wound. One wound. Three up save. Three up save or death. Oh, I've lost it. Yes, you have. Three up. Oh, Three. no, I won't die. Canis. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Force to win. Force to win. Strength seven in it. Yep. Two. Two. Minus one. Four up saves. Ank is dead. Oh yep. yeah, it's dead. Sorry, Ank, I could have recovered wounds on D on a six on my turn, but that's two field wounds already. It does explode. Take some guys out with me now. No. He's the gone. The rhino is finally it's gone. It's finally blooming gone. Three devastators into those marines. Yep. Gonna go frag. Okay. Because it's done so well for you so Shut far. Up now. <laughs> Here we go. So that's 12 shots. Uh huh. See if you do Ooh. well here and I'm. Eight. Eat your words, son. Eat your words. In a minute. I shouldn't have taunted so much. I shouldn't have taunted so much. Force the wounds. Uh huh. Four. Uh huh. If I lose one here, I'm okay. If I lose more, I'm ashamed. Be ashamed. Oh no! Be very ashamed. Oh no, yeah, I, I deserve that one entirely. On you go, Rob. And Smash Captain, he's going in. Uh huh. Let's finish it. Yep. Right. Five attacks, hit on threes, re rolling ones. Re roll the one. Uh huh. Two's to wounds. Two's to wounds. Yep. Just two wounds, need you to fail lots. Right, two. So if I make a single five up, you're gonna hate me. I hate you anyway. Oh uh, yeah, that's fair. With love. <laughs> With this game, I was going. <laughs> single five up. No, oh, no, they are Come both on. absolutely crunked. So this is all I've got left. <laughs> two world ears. I will lose another one on a six. No, we're okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Eat your words, yeah, yeah, Mr. Ross. Yeah, yeah, I will admit, uh, uh, in behind us, I was like, Frag, it's not doing it, Rob, and then it did. Yeah, eat your words, son. Um, so, that actually helped me a hell of a lot. So, Ross is down to two world eaters against... Um, Everything. Nine snipers, four missile launchers, Captain and Smash, two dreadnoughts that are going to go munching about. So with that, I've got um, aerial assault because I kill something with five keywords. We're smash, so that's one victory point. Yep. Secure objective one. We're devastators. That's another victory point. Yep. Hold the line. I've got three squads now behind my line fully. That's another victory point. Yep. Defend objective five. Well, no. 
Yeah. Not going to happen? No, not going to happen. So we're going to quickly do this. Uh, I've got to roll for my objective. If I get a five here, I'll score a point and then I'll draw a card and see what it is. If it's scorable, great. If it's not, I think this is Rob's. So one, uh, nope, I'm not going to get there. Where the rhino was? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, and let's see if that rhino would survive, like, oh my goodness. And let's see what my last card is. It is Blood and Guts, which usually World Eaters would be overjoyed for, but I really don't think I'm going to get it, nor am I going to score much points to do so. Rob, roll this dice to see if you get a genuine victory of just, like, well, on what, a one, two, or what three. What do you mean a genuine victory? Well, one where I'm not going to concede. Yep. Oh, uh, yep, game ends, Rob, and... You've got it. Yep. I Good was. game. Also, I've got another point for line breaker as well with my man of the match, or dreadnought of the match. Des I mean, he stops halfway through, but you know what? He'd done enough. He, I think I'll puff, mate, to be honest, to come on everything. <laughs> but I'll be bringing it to 10 to 6. So, with that, let's have a review. So, thanks again for watching. That was. It was a good 1500 point game. That was a good 1500 point game. I conceded at one point, then I was like, you know what, I can maybe pull this back. It was uh, touch and go. Oh, touch nice. and go. I thought maybe it might work. It, it didn't, but uh, I tried. <laughs> yeah, you're very, very trying. Uh, and <laughs> very trying, but in a good way. Yeah, uh, good but way. towards the end, then you just start right raking in the points. Yeah, it was only turn six, I was able to get three victory points on the bounce, which I thought, hmm. Ross was going to do steamrolling straight after turn one. I was. Well, your first. Well, well, sorry, I was going to say, watch the battle breakdown after this. Yeah. In depth, in well, depth, but it was quite touch and go moment. Yeah. But that last turn for you sort of solidified it. There was no way I was going to continue after that with <laughs> two world years. Really that's, that's not going to happen. So thanks again for watching. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought on that one because that one was a uh, It was good fun. Oh uh, yeah, that it one was, was a good, good one. Uh, so let us know what you guys thought on that one. Check us out on social media where you can see our upcoming projects we're working on. And also check us out on Patreon to help support the channel so we can bring you more content. And with that, we'll see you on our Tabletop Salt Bass Report. See you later, guys.